Disney trounces activist shareholders, giving Bob Iger a significant victory. Disney defeated a group of activist investors who fought for seats on the company's board of directors in a fierce proxy war. For CEO Bob Iger, the shareholder vote was a victory that would define his legacy. Disney's board defeated Tryon Fund Management and Blackwell's Capital's nominees at its annual shareholder meeting by what the company described as a substantial margin. Despite the fact that Disney's stock has increased by almost 50% over the last six months, some investors, such as Blackwell's Capital and Tryon, had anticipated stronger returns and a more significant upheaval within the House of Mouse. Tryon was especially interested in paying key executives according to their performance, increase Disney's profit margin and regain its dominance in the box office. According to someone familiar with the vote total, Iger not only defeated Tryon's Nelson Peltz, but outclassed him. The source claims that Peltz's bid for a board seat garnered less than one-third of the vote, or roughly 31 percent. According to the person, Peltz's attempt was also lost by a significant margin by Jay Rasulo, the former head of Disney Finance. Retail investors, who own about 35 percent of Disney stock, cast 75 percent of the votes in favor of Disney's candidates. Nevertheless, board members usually receive much larger totals than 75 percent of the vote, indicating that Peltz managed to garner some significant interest from regular investors. Investors. Peltz invested a significant amount of money in the fight, so it was unexpected that he didn't come close to securing a board position. This is by far Peltz's biggest setback in a proxy battle, the vote takers said. In a statement following its loss, Tryon expressed its disappointment with the result but expressed gratitude for the support and dialogue we have had with Disney stakeholders. The statement stated, We are proud of the impact we have had in refocusing this company on value creation and good governance. We'll be keeping an eye on the company's performance and its sustained success.